What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Super Duty again. More specifically, my suspension and tire setup to get it to look the way it does. And talking about how well it fits as far as rubbing goes. Right here we've got the Nitto Trail Graps. They are 37 by 1350 R20s and they're sitting on factory Lariat rims boys are like brand new and then there you can see how far they're poking out and the suspension setup is on the front this is all from rough country we are sitting on a three inch lift so as you can see there we got the new shock and coil with the radius arm drop brackets and a track bar drop bracket up under there. And then in the rear, might be kind of hard to get the camera in there, but there's two inch blocks under the leaf springs. As you can see there, there's that block. To raise the rear end two inches and the front coils had three inches for a total of a three inch lift all the way around, but making it sit level as you could see and not making it too tall in the back like it would be if it lifted the back three inches too. And uh, as far as modifications and rubbing goes, it's really hard to tell sometimes. You can't even hear it rub at all, but sometimes you'll notice, I don't know if that's something to do with the elevation, but when you're all the way at full lock, Sometimes you could just barely hear it rubbing, and I mean barely. It's not like some of the other setups I've had on previous trucks where it rubs really bad, but you could see there it looks worse than it is. But on that radius arm, there is a little bit of rubbage on the paint. And then most sketchy about the whole thing is actually the back with that too much lift. As you can see, the axles on these aren't 100% in the center of the wheel well like you'd expect them to be. So on the front, you still got quite a bit of room there, but if you look at the back, it's a tight squeeze. And you could see I have that fender flare trimmed a little bit because when I first got these on, it was fine normally, but whenever you hit railroad tracks, it would hit. I haven't tried hooking up to a trailer with this yet. I'm assuming, actually it could probably squat a little bit before it'll hit, but it might get a little sketchy with the trailer on there. Luckily, I do have these airbags under here. Which I gotta look at where the airline even is for that because if I ever wanna tell with this thing, I can't have it ripping off that fender flare. But that's how it is for rubbing front and rear. And I'll try to show you guys the tires rubbing real quick too while I'm at it little bit of a jump to get in here with no running boards but the price you gotta pay so I just creep forward here and now I'm gonna go all the way to full lock I don't even think you can hear it I could feel it a little bit all the way full lock this way rubbing just a little bit so definitely totally drivable like this without a doubt it's just we're gonna find out if we're gonna have to get some air in those bags when towing but as far as steering goes if you have three inches on the front you could fit 37 13 50s no problem so that's all i got hopefully this is informative to someone looking to get meaty tires on stocks on their 6.7 if you don't know how they're gonna fit so that's all I got for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.